Alright guys, welcome to my channel, which is Headlock, and this is my first um, actual video into to new place. Thus of which I'm going to be um, talking about all kinds of um, products here, including tech and audio stuff. So um, I'm going to start with most of the existing stuff that I have, because I I actually had meant to put some of the stuff on the channel that does which I wasn't able to do before, so I'm going to start with that. Some of you guys have seen the stuff before, uh, some of you haven't. We're going to go ahead and start with the ROG Styx Flare, which is a keyboard that I actually had for some time. It's actually a pretty good keyboard. I actually had used it for quite a few months. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the keyboard right here. It's a really nice keyboard. It's hot out here. Um, by the way, I'm actually recording outside. So if I'm doing this a lot, you know, it's, it's kind of hot, hot out and this is the most space I have. So anyway, um, I have the, this was known as a ROG Strix Flare. And as you see, it's $129. Um, this is actually a pretty cool keyboard. I've actually had it for um, quite some time. Um, this keyboard is exactly what I need as far as like mechanic ability goes because a lot of keyboards that I had um, usually destroy itself in the process while I'm trying to like type something and so this kind of keyboard has the keys that you actually hear. Along with its the, the performance type it also has the clickable, clickable buttons that you hear. The keyboard itself is um, actually pretty cool itself um, I used to be a heavy gamer as far as PC goes. I love these kind of stuff where I can actually have like clickable buttons. There, there's quite a few um, uh, controls that uh, controls that I have that are like this. But um, if you see on the back here, you can basically see top down basically what it looks like. So Rostrix Flare, you can definitely see it has like lights here. So the dynamics for it has key switches, connections, backlighting. Uh, anti-ghosting the pulling rate also oh I also forgot to mention so you can also set your own uh, programming keys here too so uh, what I mean by that is is that you can set um, and time uh, your own set of keys to do whatever it is that you would like to do on, on the computer so say for example if you wanted to run like a like a script to do a certain thing while you're out doing something or whatever it is I don't know your, ba it, your keyboard basically acts like your second person while you're um, doing something else so that's that's basically what it is if you guys don't know what macro is so this keyboard is pretty cool um, it has stylish dual texture uh, case uh, finish which is an extra basically um, a pad to uh, set your wrists on you have your personalized 3d support printing so you have like there's like two of these that you have plus the USB pass-through. The weight for this is no more than like three or four pounds. The wrist, this wrist set is detachable as well. So there's also dedicated media keys that's on the side here. This is, this is pretty cool. So this is what the, this is what the keyboard looks like itself. Um, this keyboard here is actually pretty cool. And as a matter of fact, I actually bought two of these here. So I have a second one here as well. Um, one of them is actually used for work while the other one is used for the house but I re just recently brought the second one back home um, but yeah there's two of these here like I said they cost both they both cost to go $260 or $280 if you add tax so yeah so that's pretty cool um, so as you can see you have the pass-through connection uh, that's of which you when you bring it over to the side here you have two connections here. So you have one for the mouse and one for the actual keyboard itself. The keys itself, you can actually hear the keys. Um, these keys are also detachable. So um, I think this is pretty cool because like you could actually get inside if you have like, like a little a cleaner or something um, that you that you can use. You can just you know, tss, you know get uh, get all the nitty gritty stuff out of there because if your keys are sometimes sticking. Not all, not all the time is that the case, but um, you can, unlike all the regular keyboards that you have, where it's like, you know, where the buttons are like inside, inside the, um, the keyboard itself, you have, the, these actually stick out. And so you can easily pull all of these keys out and actually get under and clean and all that stuff, which is something I actually need to do. So, um, this keyboard is actually pretty cool. Um, as you, you, can you can tell, you can, you can hear the keys and whatnot. This is the sound. Um, or should I say the volume, uh, the volume control button. You have the play button, stop button, the f uh, f rewind, and the fast forward, plus the light up key and the lock here. 
um, plus all your other favorite keys as well. So um, I will go ahead and light this up real fast. Give me a second here. Uh, so I brought my Asus, well not my Asus, but my HP laptop here. All right, so as you can see, it lights up here. Turn this off yeah, so you can, as you can see, you can see that it lights up in um, different ways. You have red here, you have green, and you have blue. And you can um, mix and match any sort of colors that you like, which I think is pretty cool. So if you, which if you have like a favorite color that you use, um, you can go ahead and you know set it to that color. It also turns off and on as well. Uh, and there's four setting, four dimming settings. You can also pick between profiles as well. Number four is okay. With, I mean, I think number four is cool if you have like um, different settings that you um, come across. Or, I'm sorry, not different settings, but if you like the the whole rainbow setting, that's what basically what that's for. Um, you have the breathing effect and a few other things on here. So, yeah. This is actually pretty cool, and when it comes to um, if you like to have your own light up, light up setup, if you have like a uh, a powerhouse PC setup at home. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this. I think this is a pretty cool product. Um, I like it. It's it's mainly for performance. I consider this to be more. It's it's not necessarily high end, but it is more performance on it. So. I definitely would recommend this. It's basically recommended for um, anybody that wants to. Um, uh, there's a couple other settings that, that that's on here. I forgot what it was, but there's like uh, 12 different settings that you can go through to uh, get this out. You, you can definitely play with it. But yeah, um, that's the keyboard right there. Um, you can add the uh, mouse on here if you like. Um, I have. Uh, Four different mouses, as a matter of fact. I'm not gonna really pull them out or anything, but you can put them into this section here if you don't have enough room. Like, you know, say for example, it, my I have HP Stretch Spectra. I have to look on the damn laptop. Okay, so the it, I have a HP Stretch Spectra here, which cost me seventeen hundred dollars. Here, you just plug in that. There's only one USB A um, plug-in for that, so I had to buy a whole a whole thirteen bar just to you know, plug that into. Um, but anyway, so everything else is like USB-C after that. So you just plug it in there, it works, you know, it's ready to go. You don't necessarily need to uh, install any USB software or anything like that. You can if you want to, you just go to the website, which is the um, uh, ROG uh, Armory or ROG Armory. It's called Republic of Gamers. That's, you know, that's basically where you can find that on there. So I, yeah, I definitely recommend this uh, product. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, I had this for about a good seven, six, seven months now. Um, so just a disclaimer, I'm not, you know, this is not endorsed in any sort of way. This is my genuine review of it. Um, I, um, I actually like Aces uh, quite a bit. And so I have quite a few Aces products. I've I held quite a few Aces products. Yeah, I definitely, like I said, I, I recommend a lot of Aces products mainly because they're geared towards gaming. And this is something that um, that's definitely worth having when it comes to um, longer performance life as far as like keyboards and mouses and things like that so this is definitely recommended um, so yeah that's that's the pretty much it for this part uh, particular review once again this is the, uh, the ROG Strix keyboard here um, that is the keyboard the, the, the box here once again it's $129 um, it's pretty cool. I think I, I really definitely like it. And I might try, check out some more keyboards later. Um, but like I said, this is pretty much an audio uh, MIDI uh, review channel. So I'm not going to do this too much as far as tech reviews goes because this is more on the computer side than anything. But I definitely will recommend this one if you're doing a, b um, a bunch of audio stuff because there is this a lot of the, a lot of the buttons are here are programmable for music as well as um, certain video editing stuff like that so yeah this is definitely a, a worth it all right so if you guys have any other uh, products or any other audio products or uh, video products or um, anything that deals with computers or tech stuff or any, uh, anything like that that you would like for me to view definitely destroy that destroy that like button um uh, comment share you, you know we based another drill make sure to hit the audio button uh the, the notification button that's on youtube 
uh, right under the video and just yeah just let me know what's going on all right guys i will see you guys in the next video